だだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだ Don't mind me if I do. Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your a daily dose of skill. And we have a brand new tank in chapter number four, season 7022. Yeah, seven season, chapter number four. And we have a very first Czechoslovakian premium tank destroyer. From what I know, our gaming is not planning to add the Czechoslovakian tank destroyer line from what we've been told. And this tank is looking awesome on the paper. But by saying awesome, I mean awesome. Okay, look, look at this, fellas. I really want to show you the skill. Move your ugly face. Sorry. Look at this. This is a new tank destroyer and speaking about the gun and everything, right? What paper is saying uh, accuracy is better than Scorpion. Uh, DPM is better than Scorpion or Charioteer. And with uh, high explosives, DPM is going up to 6000. Uh, speaking about the mobility, it has very, very nice mobility as well. Um, it is nuts. Speaking about the camo, it has pretty much uh, definitely better camo than Scorpion, so somehow charioteer levels, I would say, and it has extremely good view range. I mean, holy bananas from Banana Land, fellas. It looks like this vehicle is going to be solid banana out of 10, but is it? As many of you know, fellas, uh, you cannot trust World of Tanks paper. So let's test this tank out with a standard equipment. I am using the directive though and I have skill at crew, but to be completely honest with you, it doesn't really matter speaking about the crew because most of those skills are bloody useless. I just... I just don't want to take the time to select the five most useful skills. It is completely fine, believe me. Uh, it's equivalent to the five skills or something. So. Without further ado, let's go into the game and let's see what this tank is all about, shall we? And we are back. I have not played a single battle uh, with this tank. I do not really know how this is looking like and do we even have turret? And it has turret! And it has turret! Oi, yo, 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 fully rotatable turret. And it's quick. And it has DPM out of this world. Okay, um, let's talk the gun quickly, um, 270 millimeters of penetration, 900 shell velocity, that's relatively slow, uh, gold, 330 millimeters um, penetration, slow shell velocity, gold, a bit quicker shell velocity with high explosives, very good penetration and 420 alpha damage, this is looking nice, this is looking sick I would say, it looks like... On the paper, it looks like one of the better um, tanks in the game, and I'm not even joking, fellas. This is how it looks like. Absolutely nuts, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's see what this vehicle is capable of doing. What do you think? I really want to cross like this. This is super important thing for us, and even though we are taking a bit for the team while doing so, I do not really mind whatsoever. Uh, the most important thing is we outspotted the shit luck, and it looks pretty great. Now, at this point, all we want to see, we want to see some enemies making silly goose mistakes here. And believe me, they will. It's a matter of the time. Going for a blind shot over there, because usually there is a gentleman who is sitting in that position. And now let's load high explosive uh, ammunition for this star one. And let's have some fun, fellas. Let's have some fun. Now, on the paper, gun accuracy is looking absolutely insanely. It looks very, very good. Let's see, is it the case in real life and in reality, right? Because many of you know the gun handling on the paper and gun handling from reality is two different things. Okay, it hits like truck full of dildos. I'm not joking, fellas. The reload time of this tank... Um, this tank might be more annoying to deal with than S1, and by the way, once again, you can get this tank from the Season um, 7 Stage 4 of the Battle Pass, right? This is information for you, at least that's what I have been told, and I can play around with this tank and test out how does it behave and how is it looking like overall, and so far it looks interesting. Let's say it looks interesting so far. Let's try to cross like this. It is definitely possible to wee do so. No. Okay, don't mind me if I do. We are taking our time and we are traveling like... You know what? 
I'm not going to make pressure for this gentleman. I do not want to do that anymore. Majority of the enemy hit points are sitting here. So how about if we would try to take this position? I really want to try to use the DPM of this vehicle. I am extremely excited about this tank, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I am excited about this tank. And once again, look at the speed and everything. And plus on top of that, I do not use the turbo. So probably with turbo, it would work way, way, way better than this. It is looking interesting. I think, obviously, it's very, very weird. It is way too early to say that. Uh, but I think this tank is not going to be very friendly for beginner because of the lack of armor and everything. But um, I think this tank is going to be one of the go-to tank destroyers nowadays. This is insane. It's like having non-stop magazine. Obviously, sometimes, you know, you need to have alpha damage. For example, when you are having ISU, and whenever with ISU you can spank someone for a lot of damage once, it is, it is just awesome. Look at this, high explosive on. Unfortunate. And the aim time is kind of not existent. You are all the time aimed with this vehicle, fellas. It doesn't matter where you are looking or what you are doing, you are kind of all the time aimed. And gun accuracy doesn't look like it is going to be a big pain in the booty, if that makes sense. Although, once again, you do not want to be too aggressive with this vehicle unless it is already the end of the game and you can try to make a bit of pressure just to farm a bit more before um, before game will uh, will finish or game will end. Wow, this is this is actually looking like a nice tank destroyer. I am surprised, fellas. I'm just shocked, you know. And over time, um, we are getting better DPM, better DPM, and better DPM, and better DPM. And now we have a freak of the tank which has um, DPM out of this world. And I truly mean it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And I truly mean it. DPM out of this world. I did not mean to block our friend, but sometimes it happens. That wasn't uh, on purpose or something, right? Okay, doesn't really matter. Let's try to finish him off. I think he's on the deep reload, so he is dead anyways, I assume. And very nice standard penetration as well. Well, in this game, unfortunately, enemies had no team whatsoever, considering they had a winning spawn and they are losing 15 to 4. Yeah, that means quite a lot. But all in all, first battle, um, I'm shocked about the speed of this vehicle, and I know you can boost it even more if you do not really care about the view range that much. Um, Gun handling has a problem, which is shell velocity. It is not the standards of S1, for example. S1 uh, has like 1.4 thousand shell velocity or something. And with this one, uh, it is a bit different situation, right? All in all, this is what we have. I fired many, many times. And obviously, some of them were blind shots, which is completely fine. And we made 110,000 profits. Although not everything is profits, if we can say so, uh, because of the mission which we completed without completing this mission it would be 55,000 how much standard ammunition costs uh, okay standard ammunition is very expensive uh, I need to highlight this standard um, standard ammunition is expensive for this alpha damage and when you can burst 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 uh, it is a bit different situation for example 8015 kind of similar alpha damage you are paying uh, you are paying 700 which is a bit cheaper but still quite expensive okay how about Gusor? Maybe, maybe it's not that expensive as I initially thought it is. Okay, how about uh, pack? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is this is the typical price of the low alpha damage uh, shells. This is the thing. That's why I had this in my memory. Like it is relatively expensive for this alpha damage and for this uh, burst of fire. Anyways, let's go for round number two, shall we? And we are back. Uh, and honestly, I I am thinking how this tank is presented on the paper, and it looks like uh, it is one of the more powerful tanks in the in the game nowadays. Now, you know, my biggest thought process is, is it that good as it is presented on the paper? This is the question, fellas. So far, I like combination of the things, but obviously it is going to be extremely hard to have a proper opinion 
um, in such a short amount of the time. Aka, for me playing, let's say, three to four games and having and trying to figure out what this tank is all about. So far, I like it. I think it is very, very powerful tank. I think um, if you are going to meet um, enemies who has no bloody clue what they are doing, uh, they are not going to enjoy themselves whatsoever. For example, even the tourist S5, uh, even though he has a great um, armor and gun handling, it doesn't really change absolutely anything for us because the DPM of this thing is nuts. It is absolutely nuts, and as you can see, Tess 5 uh, pretty much lost most of his hit points, like there is no tomorrow. And he is thinking, what the flying F was that? I did not even realize it how fast I took one for the team. Now the question is, can you actually make credits with this vehicle? It is very, very legit question, and it is super important question. Can you make a credits with this tank? Can you make credits with this tank? This is the question. What am I thinking in this situation? I am thinking about getting the red line over there and helping this uh, TES um, E75 TES 5 or however it is called. Or E75 TS, sorry. I spanked TS 5, so that's why I have this name in my head, I assume. Anyways, we are feeling completely fine. We are going to take this position and we will try to burst the living crap out of the enemies. Hopefully this will work in our favor and uh, let's hope for the best. Meanwhile, this guy is crossing. Let's try to hit him. Yeah, you need to pray him. You need to pray him. This is, this is very, very, very important thing to say, fellas. You need to realize the shell velocity of this tank is not that quick. If you will have this in mind, you are going to be completely fine. You just need to get used for this. You just need to get used for this. Wow. Wow, fellas. This is this is powerful. This is very, very, very powerful. I'm shocked and surprised and everything. I mean, I can imagine a platoon of the sniper schnitzels like this. They are going to eat everyone alive. High penetration with the standard rounds as well. Look at this nuts of the DPM. Look at this DPM, fellas. Four seconds for 250 alpha damage. If you track someone, it's game over. It is game over for the gentleman. Holy. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm shocked, fellas. Uh, um, once again, um... Uh, this tank is making a lot of a lot of vehicles obsolete if that makes sense. For example, why would you play with Jack Tiger 88? Uh, okay, you have a bit of the armor, but all uh, but all and all, why would you play Jack Tiger 88? This tank is more agile. This tank has a turret. This tank doesn't have any armor whatsoever, but it has speed. This is nuts. This is absolutely insane. Now I'm curious how much we are going to make of the profits. And I really want to use the high explosive gun as well. Um, and high explosive ammunition. That's what I meant to say. If we are going to find Ergashem or Scorpion or anyone else who has a relatively who has relatively weak armor, we are going to burst them like there is no tomorrow. And this is what I am looking for and this is what I want to see, fellas. This is what I want to see. Insanity. Yeah. You know, it looks powerful on the paper and probably it is powerful uh, even, uh, even not on the paper. Also in the same time, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, keep this in mind, I am not using the best equipment. With bond equipment, and um, and other stuff, this tank is going to be even more powerful than it is now. With the bond equipment, this tank is going to be more powerful than it is now. Nuts. Truly nuts. Okay, let's see. I want to figure out how to eliminate the tanks like TS-5, right? If it is possible. And how to eliminate uh, overall everyone of this game. 
This is what is happening in my head currently. How to craft a good enough angle to make it work? One hundred penetration with the standards, uh, with the high explosives. Let's see. Can we penetrate my eggs? This is very important thing. If this gentleman will peek here, I will try to react properly. And if I will, this is going to be beautiful. Test 5 is extremely powerful tank as well, but you know, the, this and Test 5, they have completely different playstyles, if that makes sense. It is not the same tank. I am thinking how the things will look like whenever you will meet medium tank like this. I mean, look at this. We met him, and you know what he can do? I mean, look at this poor soul. He's dead. He did not even realize it. What the flying ever happened there? He did not realize it. What did the flying ever happened? He just got ticket straight to the garage. Insanity. Insanity, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's see. Can we clear this side somehow? Ah, he was waiting for me. Smart. Smart mosquito. Smart. I messed up. No complaints, no regrets. I cannot blame the tank for being, for being silly goose myself. I loved him to spank me twice. Such a bad call by me. Okay, let's see. Can we spank this MX-5100? Hmm. I messed up. I made a mistake. I cannot blame the tank for this. Um, I could play with any of the paper tank and I would uh, um, die equal way if that makes sense, right? Yeah, my mistake. Skill, it's good to make a mistake and to have 4.6 thousand damage and 1000 assisting damage. Yeah, I know. I know, fellas. I got killed by unemployed alcoholic. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I deserve this. Anyways, let's teleport to the scoreboard. And we are coming back with defeat. Meanwhile, while the battle is loading, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you about index page. Soon we are going to have improved ratings version 2 on the medium tanks. Um, so keep this in mind. We added a couple of sentences and even more stuff. And in the same time, if you are looking for more content, remember skill for L2 extra channels for you. You will find from the low tiers to the high tier highlights from the stream and so on on so on i really want to highlight this um because i know quite some of you do not know this anyways what do we have we have ace we have 4.6 thousand damage 1000 assisting damage if not my mess up i could push this to 7000 honestly i messed up and that was a bad mistake from my side and i cannot change absolutely anything anyways looking into this <laughs> we have 800 experience with a defeat uh, we made 76,000 credits, which is very, very nice. And it wasn't that bad if you are not digging into the gold ammunition. What is the price of the gold? 4.8,000. Yeah, it's expensive. It is. Anyways, uh, let's go for one more game, shall we? And we are back, fellas. Okay, let's see how we can play this. Uh, I do not really want to go into the city. I do not really think it is going to be beneficial for us. But what I want to do, I probably want to figure out how we can... Um, we cannot make pressure with this vehicle, it is not created for this. But we can load high explosives and we can punish this Lynx who is going through the middle of the field. What do you think about that? Okay, listen. Um, our goal is going to be relatively simple. We will try to... We will try to get into the... In the position over there. And we will try to wait until enemy light tanks will get spotted. If light tanks are going to make a mistake or alternatively medium tanks will make a mistake, we are going to burst them with a high explosives like there is no tomorrow. Watch this. Mm. Miss. Shame. Shame. This could be very, very beautiful. Oh well. Wait. Relax, take it easy. I can imagine if you are meeting Borat on the reload. Borat, 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 dead. Absolutely insanity. Okay, we have plenty of forces over there. Let's try to get a bit closer. 
I think we can definitely get a bit closer. As you can see, our ELC... Actually, not ELC, BR. Decided to make a bit of pressure and yeah, hashtag never lucky. That was a mistake by our guy. Not much what we can change about this. We cannot pay a price for our guy's uh, mistakes, right? Okay, links. Hmm. Astron Rex. Shell velocity is going to be a problem for many players. I mean, I, when I am comparing this to the other tank destroyers, shell velocity will be actually annoying thing for many, many, many tankers out there. It will truly be annoying, fellas. It will be annoying. Scorpion, watch this. Aim for Scorpion and kaboom. Critical damage, no! <laughs> I was so happy, I was so happy I'm about to spank the scorpion, but the hashtag never lucky. Well, shit happens, I guess. Wait, this is only the start. We need to make sure we are using ammunition properly. Aka, we are shooting uh, high explosives when we need to. And we are shooting the um, standard shells when we need to as well, right? Good blind shot by him. I need to give a kudos to this gentleman. That was actually very, very, very good stuff what he have done here. Okay, let's wait for a moment. We have all time in the world of tanks, we are not going to make pressure in front, we will try to be intelligent. It's not the easiest thing to do, okay? I am I am waiting until our list will shoot, since our list is not shooting, I am trying to figure out maybe we can have a decent angle. By the looks of it, no we cannot. Okay, fair enough. How about you? Okay. Um, speaking about the accuracy on the paper, it is 0. Um, 0.24 uh, or something um, since the shell velocity is that slow um, the, it doesn't look like it is that accurate especially if you are not aiming right so please keep this in mind you need to aim with this vehicle you truly need to aim okay looking into this situation looks like enemies are preparing to make a bit of pressure like this so what do i want to do i want to um get back for a base defense in a way and i want to take somewhere position here next to the red line whenever enemies will say yep it is about the time to make pressure we are going to spank them like there is no tomorrow also fellas please keep this in mind only couple of games is very very low amount of the games to fully have opinion about the tank right so what i'm saying here uh, everything might change i did not have the time to play 70 games to this uh, with this tank and to say how exactly everything is looking like right and is the gun that um that accurate as it says on the paper and so on so on and you know what paper is not everything in the world of tanks you know that and i know that if you are familiar with this game you know you cannot really trust what uh, what accuracy is saying it's just how it goes fellas it's just how it goes okay let's see mr borat is sitting right there i want to figure out how we can make some pressure and this is not very easy fellas this is not very easy Hawk 30 never ever was spotted, so what we could predict, we could predict Hawk is sitting somewhere here in the, in this position, I would say. Let's load heat just to eliminate him from the game, and luckily for us, we did that successfully. Excellent. And now we are simply waiting until they are going to get a bit involved. That's what we are doing, fellas. All we need, we need to see enemies getting involved here. Obviously, I can take this position here, but to be fair with you, I do not really think it is making such a big difference, if you know what I mean. Okay, the sword decided to make pressure through the middle in a way. Hmm. Do we have good enough angle to eliminate him? Yeah, we sure do. Okay, shell velocity is definitely a, a bit of the problem, if that makes sense, fellas. Shell velocity is definitely a bit of the problem. I mean, it's it's not like it is impossible to play with this tank by any shape or any form, but you will need to get used for this. And I know um, it is not going to be that simple and that easy, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. 
I have an idea, I really want to meet this light tank or scorpion or Borat, I do not really mind, one of those guys. And the main reason why am I saying so is uh, we will shred them like hot knife through the butter and I really want to see that. I really want to show you the high explosive performance of this tank because it is nuts. So far I failed those high explosive shots when I had a chance to do something, which sucks and it is sad, but oh well, what can you do about that? Not much, I guess. Now we are trying to get involved just like so. Let's see. Where is this hawk? Is he in the middle or not really? Hmm. Okay. Oh, you are doomed. Oh, you are doomed, buddy. Oh, you are doomed. You have no bloody clue what have you done here. You have no bloody clue what have you done. Okay. We know we are hawkers. Now, if Mr. Hawk will make a decision to go aggressively against us, he is not going to enjoy himself. He is not going to enjoy himself for sure. Okay, Scorpion is sitting here. Now, the moment of truth, fellas. By saying the moment of truth, we are going against the light tank. And oh boy, oh boy, he will hate uh, himself quite a bit. All I need to do, I need to spot him. Whenever we are going to spot him, we are going to have the best time ever. I really want to show you those high explosive shells. That's one. And buddy, you have a problem. You have a problem, my man. You have a problem. You don't believe in me? Come here. Oh, come here. I will show you you have a problem. Oh, I will show you you have a problem, buddy. Oh, you have a very big problem. Insanity. This tank, this tank is crazy. This tank is crazy. The downside, low armor, probably high skill cap, uh, and sh slow shell velocity and everything else is looking kind of perfect. You need to aim your shots as well, but when you have two, one second aim time, it doesn't really matter because it's taking like no time whatsoever. This is very, very powerful tank destroyer. And I'm having so much fun. I am considering about one more, fellas. I am having that much fun. I want to go for one more game with this tank destroyer. That's what I am thinking. 3.5,700 assisting damage and we have 109 thousand uh profits as well although once again profit profits are coming from the uh, mission okay this tank is not good at making credits and this is also a very very bad thing uh, for for people who loves to make credits who needs to make credits there is better premium tanks where you can do so much more i guess but this poor borat i mean we destroyed him like there is no tomorrow light tank we destroyed him like there is no tomorrow there is no other tank destroyer which can do things like this i think you know what uh fellas we are done um this tank okay once again uh negative things let's start from the negative things slow shell velocity uh that's definitely a sad part of this vehicle low credit income no armor and kind of high cap to play with unless you are sniping from the red line you know you don't need to be um a fluffy super unicorn to do that obviously to make pressure at the right time this is a different thing now good things dpm is looking all right gun is working okay when you are aiming it's definitely not s1 uh but uh it can definitely work and overall combination of the things are very powerful dpm is out of this world fellas so yeah that's my initial opinion about this tank i hope this is going to be useful for you i do not know what is the price of this vehicle and how um how much of the grind you need to do but this is looking very 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 powerful tank for a great players although low credit income once again so Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time. Big fat thanks for every single of you who tuned in. And obviously, thank you very much for our patrons, for people who are clicking that beautiful join button on the YouTube and people who are using index and purchasing bananas there as well. Thank you. I hope we are worth it and I hope you are having an absolute blast. And for now, skill is out. Take care and see you very, very soon. Peace.